Turning now to the latest from the Middle East. Today, Hamas releasing eight more hostages that it had been holding in Gaza. In return, Israel released 30 more prisoners. And the exchange could lead to another extension of the ceasefire. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that when fighting resumes, he will wage war until all hostages are out and Hamas no longer poses a threat. <laughs> Family and friends coming together tonight in Alexandria to wrap their arms around a man who has lost several relatives to the fighting in Gaza. Virginia resident Hani El Madun tells us that he lost his brother, his sister-in-law, and four of their children. He says they were killed in an Israeli airstrike that took place just 90 minutes before the current ceasefire went into effect last week. Kids as young as seven that we know, we played with, we took pictures with, we broke bread together with. And sadly, they're all gone. And that did it, didn't have to go this way. They were killed an hour and a half before the truce take effect. It's heartbreaking to hear those details. Tonight's gathering in Alexandria drew, drew people from many religious faiths, Muslim, Jewish, and Christian.